expression of one of the plates here. So let this be. I think I can. So I'll, I'll, I'll begin like this. So these are these suppression and increase. The other plate suppression will be <coughs> remain same equal to D. Let's begin. So this will remain as it is D. This separation I'm going to increase. Let me call it as X, where X I'm going to vary from D to 2D in the limits. No, uh, initial capacitance, let me call C naught. So what is C naught? C naught should be equal to let me write here because area of caution of plates, distance between the plates are given for us. <laughs> okay, now get into the problem now. So he's asking to get the charge, all these things. Uh, capacitance, uh, like a, where the energy will increase, where the energy will decrease, like a, where charge will increase, charge will, where charge will increase or decrease. So this is needed, no? So is there any method I should follow here? So I'll say that let charge here increase here. So why charge should increase? Let it be like this. Uh, the other plate charge, okay, I'll show it here. Negative of charge. Here the charge is going to decrease. Q naught by two minus Q. Is there any mechanism I must assume? You do one thing, you assume RBT. Here, for the upper plates, charge will increase. Here, decrease the solve it. If you get Q negative, change polarity. If a Q positive, what you assumed is right. I assuming that charge of this capacitor increases, whereas this you call CX. Because uh, it, it, it the function of X, no? Call like this here. <coughs> okay, first they are parallel. Or write KVL, what are other things are going? So Q naught plus Q by CX should be equal to negative sign. <coughs> what is CX is equal to? So here CX is equal to Fl naught AX. So Q naught by two. A little bit some calculations are there. So this should be Q naught by two minus Q F naught A X I'll write it here. Q naught by two plus Q F naught A D will come here. Solving this <coughs> I'll get expression for Q is equal to Q naught by two X minus D X plus D. The, the, the expression. So we'll calculate the final charge. Finally, what happened? The separation will become 2D, no? Substitute X equal to 2D. The final charge will be is will become is going to become Q naught by 6 that one. So that, that, that the one equation one. Let, let me keep in this one. Okay, fine. So I, I just directly wrote, I'm able to remember some data, this expression for charge here. Now we'll proceed here. So he's asking now the work done by action agent. So the action agent is going to pull this one. No? So in fact, what happens here? Electrostatic force will act on other side. And the action agent is going to apply force like this. On both the plates, since space now that I'm showing only one plate. All you do one thing, keep one plate at rest, the other plate you pull it. So slowly I'll pull this plate so that the separation will become from D to 2D. So how much of force I should apply? I should just apply force equal to delta because I should pull gradually, you know. Slowly pulled the word. So therefore, what is that action agent force should be equal to Fe only? 
f x y change should be equal to f e and we know what is f e should be equal to q naught 2 a epsilon naught substitute here to substitute the value of q then we have to get an expression I should okay let me go for substitution if I'll, I'll write it here only this should be equal to q naught by 2 minus of q is how much q naught by 2 x minus d x plus d bracket should come for total bracket yeah. by 2a epsilon naught. Anybody just uh, give me the value. Q naught by 2 <coughs> whole square. D don't substitute in terms of x only you bring it because the force is variable no. Sir, Q naught square D square by 2A epsilon naught. Ah, Q naught square D square. By 2A epsilon naught into X plus D whole square. D plus X whole square. Okay, th this is, I think, on only th this much, no? Oh, no, no. DX I'll bring later on. Uh, where I should write X plus D whole square, numerator. Denominator. Sir, denominator. Denominator. This much. Huh? Okay, I think all of you agree with this. So I'll I'll begin like this. Now this force look at constant or variable force. It's a variable force, no? So what is work done? I'll go for integration now. A problem is over. Once you are able to get this, it's over. Only this getting this force is the problem. It now work done by exchange and equal to f x channel into dx it will be from d to 2d so this should be q naught square d square 2a f naught okay the dx by d plus x all square Uh, put uh, d plus x equal to p substitution type let d plus x equal to p so dx equal to dp then then solve it Anybody answer? Q naught square D by 2L A epsilon naught. Okay, fine. Yeah, this is one part of the problem. Okay, Q, Q naught square D by 2L A epsilon naught. 2L A epsilon naught. Okay, this is a work done by exchange. Okay, now let's go for the heat generated. So here in this problem, there is no cell, no? So how to write down that the basic equation ui plus work done by cell equal to uf plus e generated i think the same set of equation we should carry on okay let's calculate the charge final charge how much it will be i think that this equation where is the equation no? so I'll, I'll. I'll go to the next part of the problem. So this was the charge what we know, you know. We know that 
let's calculate the final charges on both the plates. <coughs> this was 2D, this was D, the final charge here Q1 minus Q1, Q2 minus Q2. Okay, how to get the, the value of this? The x will become equal to d. Put x equal to 2d, that one. Okay, let's calculate this. q naught by 2. 2d minus d by 2d plus d. So, q naught by 6, I'll get it. So, this will be the... the charge on is that one. So now you calculate Q1, Q2. What was earlier, what was the charge Q1 should be equal to? Q1 should be equal to Q0 by 2 plus Q, no? So I'll put a charge 2Q by 3. By chance, if you get this Q negative, what you should do? You should change the sign for the Q, that one. <coughs> See, it happens. So you need not to bother much here. Suppose, say, here I, I assumed here plus Q, no? If you get answer Q negative, then here you write Q naught minus Q, and here you write Q naught plus Q, that one. So don't bother if you get negative sign. Just change the, the sign of the Q. So I got Q positive only. After get substituting that, so this is the final charge in this one. So now, now let's do one thing is asking E generated, no? So this is the in final potential energy this much. Initial potential energy of circuit is how much? That is UI. So what was the charge initially? Q naught by two, Q naught by two. I'll, I'll calculate initial potential energy of circuit. First we'll do one thing, we'll calculate final potential energy. This should be equal to Q1 square and the capacitance also will change. No? This will be C0, C1 you write it. So C1 is F0 A by D, C2 is F0 A by 2D. So Q1 square by 2C1, Q2 square by 2C2. Substituting all the values. So substituting all the values, so this should be equal to anybody, I think you should give value. Uh, then initial energy should be equal to Q naught by 2 whole square by 2 C naught. So the value will be Q naught square D by 3 epsilon naught. Q naught square. D, D by 3A epsilon naught. Yeah. This will be Q naught square by D by... This also same thing. Same, huh? check it. Yes, sir. I got same. Initial? 3, 3 will not come, no? I think. Check Initial it. Q naught square D by 4A. Four oh, sir, sorry. 4F naught, yeah, yes, that's one. And, and this is the final. Final potential energy. This is the initial potential energy. Now, what to do? How to get that E generated from where to bring E generated? So, here uh, the, the equation I'll write it UI plus work done by exchange. The exchange does work, no? And because of its work done, there, there, a change in system came UF plus E. So if there is any even X agent and cell cell also there and cell also does work, then add bring work done by cell also. So this you don't forget this particular thing. Whenever any some work done concept comes, no, there's one basic equation. So if you refer the electrodynamics by the Irido, no, theoretical book, there he has just put very beautifully this idea that one. Just simply still like you know, 
any capacitor circuit, initial energy of the system worked on extra agent plus work done by the cell should be equal to final potential of system plus heat generated, finish all. Even if cell is there, yes, you add that work done by cell on the LHS, don't do anything in RHS. Books, they have brought it here, they wrote work done extra agent equal to delta U plus H. Sometimes they're writing negative, positive, uh, cocktail it has become. There's a generalized thing. What are the type of numerical? It's a general thing, just put that one. So we know UI, we know work done extra agent. We'll check the this conditions now. Let's see how much is generated. Q naught square d by work done by extra agent. It was equal to twelve. Welcome. Let's see it. Anybody value? Zero, sir. Zero. So no it is generated. Uh, some books they are given wrong answer. Huh? You have to be careful. Potentials must be same. The potential of capacitor must be same. Then capacitor changes. Again, I, I, I'm asking you to just analyze everything with the help of this formula only. Here, what will happen to potential difference across capacitor? Must this value. So if you and look at this particular, this capacitance here, the capacitance is fixed here. Look at this and look at for this particular thing. <laughs> capacitance I'm going to change. Then because of this, potential difference across the plate will get disturbed. And the potential of this plate will become more than this and a charge will start flowing. That's the basic mechanism. So you have to uh, trace out the things from there.